do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> Uh, we back her another big body banker. Okay, reaction Josiah is back in the chat. Hoodie Josiah has entered the chat once again. I haven't worn a hoodie in so long, I feel like, but it's kind of cold in my crib. I ain't even go hold y'all. So I was like, I'm putting on a hoodie and now we're here. So um, I told you guys y'all can honestly send me videos to react to and if I react to your video, I'll credit you. Somebody sent me this video. I can't find their ad. No. Josiah. No. I, I screenshotted it, but I think they changed their at or something like that, cause I, I can't find it. So, um, sorry to you, but thanks for this video, cause it seems pretty interesting. Before we get into the video though, joy.com, I'm saying about two, third, free, one luck. Say yourself fifty dollars, okay? Everything is restocked. Go cop it now for it goes back out of stock. I don't want to hear no complaints about oh when you bring back the black and gold rose print, when you bring back the customers, when you get a restock on the velvet. Shut the heck up and buy it now. Steal your mama credit card, your grandmas, your dads, your uncles, a homeless person off the streets. Steal the, steal the, never mind. I'm not even gonna say that. But um, basically what we have here, okay, is the title of this video is Seven Real Life Heroes Caught on Camera. Now, um, I don't have anything I'm supposed to say for the video. I, I, I literally knew what I was gonna say for the video and I had something to say, but I can't think. Everybody watch these people. Um, I personally think I have a lot of superpowers. I don't know if y'all ever been in the shower before. And like, I know this doesn't happen to everybody. It's just me. But like, I just be sitting in the shower, just like standing regular, like these. You feel me? And all of a sudden, water starts going down my hand, and I can just control where it goes. And I realize I'm a water bender. So that's one of the powers I have. A lot, I have a lot more also. Um, like, I don't know. It's cold outside sometimes. Like sometimes it's cold outside, and like if I breathe, like. Whew, you, you ever seen like Superman, like when he breathe, it's like ice type stuff. Yeah, that's like what I have. It's like, it's real cold and you can see it. It's like, whew, you see it. So I have a lot of superpowers. So I feel like I'm really a hero. And honestly, I did save a lot of y'all from like boredom. So technically I'm saving the world at this point. Like that's besides the point. I don't really like to toot my own horn, you feel me? But I just wanted to point that out in case y'all thought I was regular. Like y'all, I'm not, I'm different, I'm special, I'm a superhero. Good talk. So uh, let's let's uh, just get right into this. <sighs> I'm excited. Why it sounds so scary for? Seven heroes caught on camera. Okay. In this video, we take a look at seven humble heroes who were caught on camera. Okay. Included are a brave bus driver, friendly strangers, and a host of heartwarming stories, which may help to restore your faith in humanity. What the heck is that man doing? Mystery fireman, okay. When an elderly man was trapped inside of his flaming home in October of 2014, he thought he was unlikely to escape. As things escalated and the flames led to an explosion, cons I don't like this commentator, she's boring. They should have me commentate it. I'm finna mute this and I'ma commentate it myself. Watch, watch, y'all ready for this? So there's a lot of burning things here, there's a lot of smoke, somebody's just sitting here recording it right now, we're honestly just waiting to see if any heroes come out of nowhere and save, save them like Superman or something like that. Somebody's peeing over there in the corner, I don't know why they're peeing like that. I don't know what this man's doing on the screen, but I think he's part of the story, so I should probably unmute it and listen, huh? Alright, let me go back, because I don't know what the heck they talking about, I don't know who this dude is. Home in October of 2014. He thought he was unlikely to escape. She sounds so As boring. As things escalated and the flames led to an explosion, concern continued to grow. Your dad is still in there? Your dad is in there? I called 911. Just poppy! Oh my god. Who's peeing? Look in the corner. Like, look in the corner, the, the left corner. Not even the corner, like the side. Something it looked like somebody peeing. Somebody. What is happening? Why? Are they what is like I understand you trying to help, but that ain't doing nothing. Look at the fire. Look at that fire. You think your piss is about to put that out? No, it's not. 73-year-old Fresno resident Robert Wells was unable to escape of his own accord. He was attached to the oxygen tank which aids his breathing and struggled with mobility. Had he been left to his own devices, he likely would have died. In footage caught on the cell phone of a passerby, the stakes were beginning to increase. In this video, a man wearing blue jeans and an LA Dodgers cap enters the frame. Is that him? 
Calmly walking toward the flames, he disappears for a little while before emerging from the fiery furnace carrying Robert Wells over his shoulder. Was that the guy? Come on, where's the dude at? The blue jeans guy. No, there's a man in there. She's Dang. Dang, why are you running away? You're supposed to be saving the old man. How you gonna run away? See, if I was there, I would have. I would have. Let me finish the video. There. Oh my god. No, there's a man inside. Right here. Oh god. Oh, thank God. Dang. Yo, he's oh, goaded. The mystery man saved Wells only four minutes after an anonymous source first called 911 to report the increasing inferno. The blaze went on to destroy two homes. Yo, that's wild. Yo, my man came out here like Superman type thing. And he carried him. That's lit. That's, that's far. That's far. No pun intended, but that's far. That's, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's that's thank nice. God. Oh, thank God. The mystery man saved Wells only four minutes after an anonymous source first called 911 Dang. to report the incident. Shout out in W's in the chat for this man right here with the blue hat. W's in the chat. I don't want to see the W in the chat because this man is a real life hero. I, I, I salute you. I do. Bruno. The blaze went on to destroy two homes and Dang. shock plenty of unsuspecting residents. Shortly after the incident, the identity of the savior was discovered. The man, Thomas Artiaga, had intentionally shunned the limelight, claiming that he didn't want to be considered a hero. He had left the scene swiftly in order to avoid any attention. His heroics eventually caught up with him. He's humble. I like that. That's also how I am. Like when I do heroic stuff and stuff like that. Like one time, um, one time I saw a cat like on the sidewalk, right? It was walking. It looked like it was like scared or something like that. So I walked up to it and I told it everything's gonna be okay. It was trying to give me like a Nobel Peace Prize for that, but I'm like, bro, chill. I'm just being me. I'm humble with it. You feel me? I don't really need the recognition. Like I really, I understand. I really blessed that cat's life by emotionally supporting him and telling him everything's gonna be okay. But like, I don't want the, the attention, like the limelight. life. Like this guy, I, I feel like I could really relate to him because we both humble. Him, as he was invited onto the Jimmy Kimmel show. See, I didn't get invited onto the Jimmy Kimmel show because I, I, I declined it. I got the invitation, like Ellen, all them people was like, oh, come please, please come. Big pause, hey, yo, not like that. Maybe like that, depends who's asking. But um, yeah, I was like, nah, bro, I wanna stay, I wanna stay back, you feel me? I ain't really for the line like type stuff, you feel me? Ciao. He was also offered the chance to make first pitch at the game of his beloved Dodgers. Proving that good deeds do, in fact, go rewarded. It's a W right there. It's a big W in the chat. Armed robbery heroin. Wait, her hero? Her is that heroin? Is that how you spell heroin? Heroin. Here's what I found. That is how you spell heroin. Wait, is it? Wait, hold on. Alexa, how do you spell heroin? Heroin is spelled H. E-R-O-I-N-E -E. Heroin Armed robbery heroin I, Is he robbing heroin? Huh? Okay, never mind Heroin? A store in Des Moines, Iowa was targeted by two armed robbers in December of 2014 The store owners were terrified Not only were their own lives in danger but their two children were also in the store with them Seven-year-old Victoria witnessed the entire incident. In perhaps the most disturbing ordeal of the ongoings, one of the robbers Dang. placed a gun to the head of a customer and forced them onto the ground. This same customer, though terrified, then used her instincts to behave heroically. She instructed Victoria to lay under her own body, protecting her just like That's a, a human shield. That's a she continued to cover her until the entire incident was over. This woman seemed determined to protect Victoria in the event that any shots were to be fired. Both parents, Mammy and David Uguami, have thanked the woman who bravely safeguarded their daughter. That's beautiful. The robbers of the store remain unidentified. I was in chat for this lady too. Um, I don't know why heroin was in the title. 
I was gonna say something, but I don't think she doesn't look like she's on heroin. He doesn't look like he's on heroin. The robbers definitely weren't on heroin. They were thinking very clearly when they robbed that freaking store with a kid in it. Um, are they selling purses or something? What are they selling? Why is it on the ceiling? Never mind. But I don't. I don't know why heroin was in the title. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. But Alexa said that's how you spell heroin, so I don't. I don't think Alexa's wrong. Or remain unidentified. Unless they sell heroin, I don't freaking know. I don't. Buffalo bus driver. Okay. Buffalo bus driver Darnell Barton oh. had been driving buses for more than three years when he happened upon an incident he never had before. Occurring in October 2013. Occurring? CCTV footage never had before. Occurring? Occurring in October Occurring? Occurring. It's occurring, isn't it? Occurring. Occurring? I don't like this commentator. I should really be the commentator. Give me the script next time, please. 13. CCTV footage taken from inside the bus shows a lady standing on the right-hand side of the shot, precariously placed on the edge of a bridge over an expressway. The footage then shows Barton stopping his passenger-filled bus before asking if the woman was okay. After receiving no response, Darnell leaves his bus to attend to her. In the footage, he grabs her hand and guides her over the safe side of the guardrail. Oh, she was about to jump off. I thought she was like looking. I thought she was looking over on the parkway type thing. Um, I thought she was like on the rail, like behind the rail, and just looking over at the cars go by. But she was about to jump. I think. Dang, that's tough. He sat with the woman until another figure turned up, who claimed to be a counselor. The woman, who was considering suicide, is thought to be in her twenties. That's a W. In an interview, Darnell claimed that his appearance at the incident was merely fate, saying, "Quote." I was supposed to be there for her at that moment. That's a fact. He also claimed that he wanted to help the unlucky lady through whatever it was she was struggling with. After he rescued the woman and boarded his bus once more, the passengers on board gave Darnell a round of applause. There was passengers on board this whole time? This whole time? None, nobody else wanted to go save her? It was just, they was like, oh yeah, the bus driver got him. All right. See, I personally couldn't have stood there and watched. No, After the incident, Barton was sent gifts by a host of admirers, including $10,000 from Donald Trump. Dang. Although Barton has not spoken to the woman since the incident, Dang. he continues Wait. to hope that his act of kindness helped her through her troubles. Okay, Mr. President. Hero dog. Okay. I love a dog story. In this dash cam footage, shot in Anchorage, Alaska, a that dog, dog leads the state trooper down a dark road to a flaming home. When Ben Heinrich's shed set fire in 2010, he let out his German shepherd named Buddy, telling him, quote, we need to get help. Buddy then took it upon himself to gather help, sprinting from the home in an attempt to seek aid. The driving state trooper who came upon the dog, Terence Shanigan, was at first uncertain of what to do. Shanigan was aware of a fire in the surrounding area, but had been unable to locate it due to his GPS malfunctioning. Dang. He had no choice but to pursue the crafty canine. The trooper had previous experience dealing with dogs, and therefore felt confident that this dog was in danger. In the footage, Buddy can be seen looking over his shoulder multiple times, a sign that the dog was seeking a pursuit. That's lit. That's lit for real. That's a dog right there. That's a real dog. See, I need a dog. You think Leo would do that for me? Like, if, if, if there was a fire, God forbid, if there was a fire, I'm saying, I'm like, Leo, we need to go get help. Y'all think he would, y'all think he would go find somebody to get me help? <laughs> oh, he would kind of just like lay there and be like, you go get help yourself. I don't know. God, don't let that happen because I don't know if Lil will be able to save me. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Is he leaning him to the house? Dang. This dog got that big brain energy. W's in the chat for their dog right now. And he got some stamina. Stamina. Stamina? 
Stanima, stamina, stanima. That's lit. Wait, where where's the burning house? Oh, there's the burning house. Dang, dang. The the cop couldn't see the freaking smoke in the air. He told me he was looking for the joint. You tell me the cop couldn't look in the freaking sky and see that big old smoke coming up? Type of cops they got wherever the heck this is. What is this? Arkansas, freaking Missouri or something stupid? These cops need some better eyesight. Arrived at the scene to find the fire and realized he had made the right decision. When Shanigan opened the door of his vehicle, Buddy nudged the trooper with his nose and pointed him in the direction of the burning building. Because of his actions, they were able to put out the fire which luckily hadn't spread to the home. After the incident, Buddy was awarded a silver dog bowl. Van Heinrich's actually- Bro, a silver dog bowl from Amazon? From Amazon? I could buy that right now for $7. You gave this dog that just freaking located a human being to save another human being, to save a, a whole freaking house, led the, led the car to the fire scene, and you give him an Amazon $7 food bowl. No food, no nothing, just hair. Here's a food bowl, a silver food bowl. That John is painted silver. That's not real silver. The heck is going on here? Claims that Buddy already saved him on two previous occasions, chasing off bears while fishing. Bro, he been chasing off bears, leading people to fires. What does this dog not do? He need to leave that dude and go join the force. Because at this point, they need a dog that's that smart to be in a force. Like this... Never mind. I feel like he got played. I need to find this dog and I need to give him a real treat. Cause that silver bowl ain't nothing. I'd have been mad as a mug if I if I if somebody told me, I'm a human, right? If somebody told me, right, bro, we need to go get help, go locate somebody. I run mad far, two, three miles, find somebody, two, three miles back, and they over here to mine, I'll give you a silver plate. I don't want that crap. I don't. Give me money. Or like, no, just yeah, give me money. I was about to say you could give me like a gold medal or something, but I don't want that crap. I want money. Buddy sadly passed away in November. He died? R.I.P. is in the chat for Buddy right now, man. R.I.P. is in the chat for Buddy. <sighs> All they freaking rewarded this dog with is a silver bowl. What type of stupidness? 16, but is remembered for his grand heroics. Hate to see it. Ins inspiring inmates. Okay. In a Tampa County jail in 2009, Shout out Tampa, a 24-year-old inmate, Douglas Burden, callously attacked 64-year-old deputy Kenneth Moon, who was sitting alone at his station. Surprised while on duty, he was no match for his assailant. Though the provocation or cause remains unclear, the attack was swift and violent. Dang. In the footage, Burden punches Moon and places him in a chokehold. The choke could have killed Moon had no one interfered. The footage then shows three other inmates come to the rescue. That is some real dudes. They grapple this. Burden to the floor while one uses Moon's radio to call for backup. As the footage continues, more inmates pile in to help in an incident this is which some, likely saved real dudes Moon's right life. Here. Why he just attack him randomly? Burden was being held on drug charges, while of the rescuers, the charges were varied. One was being held for attempted murder, Dang. one for assault and battery, and another for home invasion. Burden was placed in solitary confinement after the incident. He was charged with battery of a law enforcement officer. Moon was allegedly very popular with inmates and particularly well-liked. The commander of the facility went on to tell reporters, quote, The response of the inmates in this case, I think, speaks volumes as to the fact that we treat these men and women in our facilities with a lot of respect. Moon survived the w. incident with only minor injuries. That's nice. That's cool. See, <sighs> being a likable person gets you far. No matter where you are, if you are in jail, yeah, I, your jail is probably the best place for you to be a likable person, especially if you're working in jail, because you want them inmates to like you. If they don't like you, they would just watch you get choked out and you'd be dead right now. Yeah. I'm just saying, be nice to everybody. Be a likable person. Because maybe one day you'll be getting choked out and somebody will save you. Remember that. Juvere taught you. Seattle student.
In June 2014, a gunman entered a Seattle college campus, intent on firing shots upon unsuspecting students. The gunman managed to kill one person and wound Dang. two others. While attempting to Just reload his up, weapon, he was tackled to the ground by a fearless student. The shooter, 27-year-old Aaron Ibarra, was apprehended by the Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm peeping something right now. So let's go back. Let's go back. So when he comes in, you guys see the dude that's on the top right corner. He's on his phone, I think. He's just chilling. He sees the gun pointed at him. And he's like, yeah, I doesn't care. He probably is doing a test right now. He's like, bro, just kill me. No cat. And then the dude turns. Watch. The gun watch. He walks in. To kill one person and he sees him. He's like, bro, I don't care. Just While shoot attempting me. To I don't want to do this weapon, test. He was tackled to the ground by a fearless And the dude, dude starts to feel bad. So he turns away. He's like, nah, finish that test, bro. Or you're going to end up like me. And now we're here. Bend. The shooter, 27-year-old Aaron Ibarra, was apprehended by the savior of the day, John Meese. Shout out John. He pepper sprayed the gunman before diving onto him. Wait, hold on, what he do? John Meese. Oh, Did dang, he came up with the Aaron? blicky, the pepper spray. Okay, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna examine this. Aaron Ibarra was apprehended by the savior. Okay, he comes around the corner. He right here. He's already strapped. He ready. He knows what's going on. This lady right here does not care about nothing. The lady to the left, she's not. She walking regular. The like shooter. nothing's happening. My man walking around with a whole seven foot um, Remington 725, whatever the heck it is. And she was just over here talking about something. I need to get to my next class. I can't miss my next class. Seven-year-old Aaron Ibarra. Watch. Was apprehended by the safe. You see her. Cooling. This man comes around the corner like freaking 007 to my son. Who calling me? Freaking no. Um, but what's it called? Come around the corner like 007 with the with the pepper spray and tackles this man. Watch. Year of the day, John Psst, Meese, on his face. Ooh, grab him. Bam. Got him down. Yeah. Onto him. In Gets the, the gun footage, out of here. He rips the gun from the man's hands, then runs out of the shop. Wait, is the guy After hiding the dead? gun, he is then seen returning to take down the attacker once more, undeterred by the knife uh. held in the gunman's hands. I beat him. Beat him. Mink, 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 mink. Why are you hugging him? Meese then waits until another brave hero enters the scene. You're literally hugging him. The footage him. shows others looking unalarmed, as apparently they first considered the incident to be an innocuous end of your prank. Ha innocuous end of what did she say? As apparently they first considered the incident to be an innocuous end of your prank. Innocuous end of your I don't know what that means. Alexa, what does innocuous mean? The adjective anonymous is usually defined as... Alexa, shut up. I didn't say anonymous. I said anonymous. I said anonymous. What does anonymous mean? Had 26-year-old Meese not interfered, the death toll would have been much higher. Ibarra later claimed that shooting his first victim had been, quote, fun. What? Ibarra pleaded not guilty to murder and other charges on the grounds of insanity, but was eventually... Insanity? Look at him! He's insanely ugly, that's what he is. Sentenced to 112 years in prison. John Meese received citizen honors from the Congressional Medal of- See, I would've took a, a medal like this, like I was telling y'all before about a medal. A medal or money. This medal's kinda cool, but after a while I'm gonna get tired of it. And when I say a while, I mean like, as soon as like I go home, I'm gonna be tired of it, I'm gonna want money instead. So I'll probably sell them on eBay. For about $27 or something like that. Yeah. Honor Society for his brave act of heroism. Heroism. There it goes again. Heroin. Everybody loves heroin in this video. Spider Man. This is my type of story. <laughs> in May 2018, 22 year old Malian immigrant Mamadou Gassama saved a child from certain deaths. In the Paris incident, the four-year-old child was dangling from a fourth-floor balcony while his father was allegedly away shopping. Reporters are heck? unsure how the child managed to reach what the and climb over the balcony. Footage of Mamadou's daring and dramatic attempt shows him leaping and that man right there is just looking. Thirty seconds, risking his own life to save a child he did not know. Bro, and that man on the other balcony is just looking. Bro, look at this dude. He really Spider-Man. Look at him. He doing all types of pull-ups and push-ups and... And that dude's just watching. Grab the baby! 
The footage also shows a neighbor attempting to hold the child. This neighbor, because of the layout of the building, was unable to fully reach- You telling me the baby could climb over, but you can't reach your hand over and grab the freaking baby? Due to the layout of what? Listen. This neighbor, because of the layout of the building, was- The layout of the building what? Attempting to hold the child. This neighbor, because of the layout of the building, was unable to fully reach the child. Climb on the banister! If it was your child, you would climb on a banister, like, like saddle it like this. That was weird. But just saddle it. And you can literally get the freaking baby, you idiot. Now you got this man climbing up ten stories. Undeterred by the- You tell me he could climb up ten stories. Ten stories! And you can't climb onto the, your railing to reach over to grab the person. Plus you had somebody right there that could hold your feet just in case you fell. Danger of the situation. Mamadou swiftly and smoothly climbs up the four stories using only his bare hands. In the footage, which has been widely shared all over social media, he's not even reaching! And whooping in support the neighbor ain't reaching! Dang, come on, man! W's in the chat, L's in the chat for that neighbor because he's a bum. Straight bum. Mamadou arrived in France a few months earlier, harboring dreams of starting a new life in the country. Shortly after the incident, Goat. he was invited to meet French President Emmanuel Macron. Goat. Macron spoke with Mamadou about the incident and offered him permanent French residency. That's what we like to see. See, that's 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 better than money. You got permanent French residency. Re residency. To reward his daring escapade. He was also given a certificate of bravery Let's and go. offered a job in the French fire service. Let's go. See, this is this is beautiful. Whether or not he accepted the job offer is thus far unknown. Freaking W's in the chat. W's in the chat right now. That was beautiful. That the neighbor made me mad, made me very mad, but hey, in the end, these are all some real life superheroes. Um, they didn't want to put my clips in there because like my clip I told them to keep it on the low, but tight, like I'm I was okay doing like some of the same stuff. Some stuff was a little bigger than I was doing, but we're not even gonna talk about it. But um if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like right now. You know what I'm saying if you have ever like done anything heroic and didn't receive like a, a good reward for it, like the dog, let me know in the comments down below because I feel like I'm alone. Cause I really do a lot of stuff and nobody don't give me nothing, but we're not gonna talk about it anymore. I'm not gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna bring it up again. But um if you want to if you want dang, can I talk? If you want me to react to another video, all you have to do is DM me on Instagram at you for underscore. Send me what video you want me to react to, and if I do react to the video that you choose, you will get a shout out. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, before you dip out, joy.com you buy two third free bundle up, say self fifty dollars, and um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through